Japan's central bank has stuck to its policy of negative interest rates, voting to keep the cost of borrowing at minus one point of a percent at their latest meeting. Policymakers have warned of extremely high uncertainties for the economy, both domestically and globally. The move also caps 10-year government bond yields at zero. It's in sharp contrast to central banks around the world that have been moving to increase borrowing costs in recent weeks. Well, Dr. Seijiro Takashita is professor at the School of Management and Information at the University of Shizuka. From a domestic point of view, um, the private consumption really hasn't come back as strong as other you know, advanced nations. Uh, we did benefit from pent-up demand from the coronavirus, but that was about it. And because of, now this is an external factor, but you know, rising inflation, particularly for Japan, which is very vulnerable to, the, to this phenomenon, because, well, we've got the uh, double whamming of weakening the yen and you know increased external you know commodity prices such as oil and we import 99.9 percent of oil so obviously we're getting uh, quite a lot of pressure from both internal and external factors and this is one of the reasons why you know bank of japan want to stay put at this point as far as interest rate uh, is concerned the japanese central bank policy at present anyway uh, differs somewhat to uh many global uh, central banks who have, of course, raised interest uh, rates to address the uh, rise in inflation. So what's driving this strategy? Firstly, um, the Japanese economy isn't as strong as, for example, uh, as in the United States. Yes, we are seeing inflation, but it's cost push inflation. It's not demand pull inflation like in the United States or United Kingdom, uh, where you see, you're seeing much more stronger private consumption. Uh, in Japan, that is certainly not the case. And also capital expenditure, which tend to lead the comeback of the economy in Japan, is also fairly weak because of very ambiguous situation that we're seeing. Uh, obviously caused by this war of hegemony between, you know, the United States and um, uh, China and also Russia as well. So it's becoming very, very rocky as far as external environment is concerned. Uncertainty is something that the Japanese, both the companies and private individuals hate. And for that reason, uh, they're withholding their investment and also private consumption. So. Uh, these are becoming a very big problem for Japan as a whole. We've talked a, l a lot about short-term stuff. Let's, let's take a look at the longer term. What's your mm -hmm. outlook for the longer-term Japanese economy? Well, there is a rejuvenation process, I think, that we, we're already seeing on many of the corporates. And uh, we're most likely to see increase of wages, which we haven't seen in more than two decades. Uh, that should basically give a positive incentive to private consumption. But that said, um, as we were just discussing earlier, the external environment, uh, especially with the increased you know, fear of inflation, um, I would doubt that the Japanese would be spending by reducing their saving, considering their you know, very conservative nature. So I think um, we need to see an external environment improve uh, and also, uh, which gives uh, some kind of a safeguard feeling, you know, for the Japanese to start spending. We are seeing, you know, again, you know, a uh, comeback in many, many of these areas, uh, albeit slow. We are seeing a revival. But, you know, there's so many external factors that are ambiguous, which puts off, you know, companies from investing further.